You know, some people have been experimenting lately with something called group marriage. That's where three or five or even ten people live together. Personally, I can't see being married to ten people. By the time you kiss everybody goodnight, it's time to get up. <laughs> I do? Hmm? Okay. And uh, we, anyway, Audrey Meadows, Dick Martin, Joey Bishop, Howard Cosell, and myself are going to show you what it would be like if group marriage ever really caught on. Good morning, dears. Good morning. I know, Jay. I cut myself shaving. I think somebody's been using my razor to shave their legs. I'm sorry, I won't do it anymore. <laughs> hey, have we worked out the schedule for the household duties yet today? Yes, Perry. Today is our turn to do the dishes. You wash and I'll dry. Well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll take a bath. Good idea. Oh, you wash, I'll dry. <laughs> I think I'll stay dirty. Say, did you guys hear about Sally Rogers? She's getting married to Pete and Sonia and Fred and Myra. Really? I thought she was in love with Matt and Helen, George, Alice, and Skip. No, that was just a crush. Uh, yeah, that's right. With six people, you gotta get crushed. <laughs> Everybody, listen, there's something important I have to tell you. Now, now it's not gonna be too easy, but... Uh, what I, is it, Harold? I want a divorce. Why are you doing this thing, Harold? Is there another group? <laughs> Yes, there is. Is it Norm and Stella and Herb and Mary? No. Is it Max and Phyllis and Hank and Shirley and that Don and Agnes? No. Who is it? Well, I've fallen in love with the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. The Mormon Tabernacle Choir? What have they got that we haven't got? It's not what, it's how many. <laughs> oh, please, I beg you. I beg you, please, don't leave us. We need you. We need you. Look, but, uh, look, I'm afraid the Mormon Tabernacle Choir needs me more. What do you mean? Well, they're pregnant. <laughs> the Dean Martin Comedy Hour, starring Joey Bishop, Howard Cosell, Dick Parkin, Audrey Meadows, Jackie Gale, Billy Baxter, and the man of the week, Mr. Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs>